Welcome to Royal Secrets. As Sussex residents petition to have Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's titles removed, pressure on Prince Harry increases. Following their nuptials in May 2018, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle received the royal titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex from Queen Elizabeth II. Since then, Harry and Markle have come under intense media scrutiny. In 2020, they resigned from their senior royal positions and relocated to Montecito, California. The Duke and Duchess's royal titles have been demanded to be revoked in a number of internet petitions. Hillary Fordwich, a royal specialist, spoke with Fox News Digital after receiving their title, Meghan and Harry were welcomed with white arms at the time. We witnessed a royal wedding as well as the public's outpouring of affection for them. At that time, she was greeted with open arms. Remember that Prince Harry was a fan favorite. Although he has fallen in the polls, he was one of the royal favorites. Harry has come under media and public criticism since since the people's opinion of him decreased and internet petitions became more popular. Following the couple's relocation to the United States, the parallel parliament submitted a petition with the following description. The title was bestowed upon them during their wedding on the grounds that they would serve the kingdom as working royals. This title may not be exploited for personal financial advantage as it is no longer valid. As a result, it serves no use and needs to be removed. What could come next for Markle and Harry is as follows. Following their nuptials in May 2018, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were given the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Harry's father, King Charles III, has continued to confer Harry and Markle with their royal titles following the passing of Queen Elizabeth. Prince Henry of Wales has been awarded a dukedom by the Queen today. His titles will be Baron Kilkeel, Earl of Dumberton, and Duke of Sussex after the wedding day of the pair, the royal website reported. Following their marriage, Ms. Meghan Markle will become Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry will become His Royal Highness the Duke of Sussex. As the family's senior royals, Harry and Markle retired in 2020 and set their sights on California. Archie, age 3, and Lilibet, age 1, are being raised by the couple in a $14 million house they bought in Montecito, California. Prince Harry claimed in an interview with Oprah Winfrey for the mental health documentary series The Me, You Can't See on Apple TV Plus, that the royal family had given him complete quiet and total neglect in reaction to Meghan Markle's difficulties adjusting. Harry revealed that he and his wife decided to take a break after requesting assistance from the royal family for years and experiencing absolute silence. He continued, we tried to make it work for four years. We exerted every effort to remain there and continue doing the duties of the position. But Meghan was having trouble. During a surprise appearance with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021, Meghan and Harry faced intense criticism. Markle leveled serious allegations of racism against the royal family. Markle revealed that Harry and a family member had a discussion about how dark their baby was going to be. They preferred that he not be a prince or princess, depending on the gender Markle referred to her kid Archie, before he was even born. He would not be given security. In the mental health documentary series, Harry discussed the difficulties he had to deal with the media hysteria and paparazzi, and compared these to the difficulties his late mother, Princess Diana, had to deal with in her own life. Throughout the five-part series, Harry expressed sorrow over not denouncing media prejudice sooner and brought up their bond at the time of his mother's passing. My mother's death while being in a relationship with a non-white person was a case of history repeating itself. And now, observe what has occurred. You want to discuss how history keeps happening. They won't stop until she passes away," said Harry. Harry gave his listeners the wisdom his father, King Charles III.